What should you do if you have child and or spousal support orders in place, you lose your job and the other party is willing to work with you to come to some resolution out of court? Hi, I'm Jerry Maggio, Orange County Divorce and Family Law Attorney. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you the importance of properly modifying a child and or spousal support order in a situation where let's say you've lost your job or had a major reduction of your income and the other party is willing to work with you to work something out out of court. So what do I mean by this? Well, I'm talking about a situation where maybe there's a handshake agreement or some understanding in an email or something along those lines that temporarily you can suspend payment of support, maybe a long-term suspension, what have you. The problem is, is that you don't take the step further formally modifying the support order, you're gonna have a major problem potentially. Let me explain what I'm talking about. So let's say years go by after you've worked out something like this, and all of a sudden you get noticed that the other party is seeking collection of child and or spousal support rearages, which is back support. For all the years, all the time that you, if, since you stopped paying on the support per the agreement that you had with that person. So guess what? Even though you thought you had an agreement with the other parent, you're likely going to owe that back support. And the reason is because you didn't formally modify the support order by a formal agreement that would have been filed with the court that changed the order and so on. I've, so I've handled cases where I try to negotiate, let's say, back child support cases where somebody owes a lot of money. And the reason why oftentimes there isn't much you can do other than try to negotiate, you can't get rid of the support amount that's owed, is because there wasn't the formal uh, order that was changed. And therefore, all this back support that wasn't paid can include interest at the legal rate of 10% per year. That's the legal rate, and that compounds year after year after all this time. I've had cases where somebody owes 50 to 100,000 in back child support because they thought they had an agreement with the other parent, when in reality, they, what they didn't have is a formal modification of the support order, and they end up having to pay all this back support. The bottom line and lesson here is that you want to hire an experienced family law and divorce attorney to draft something called a stipulation and order, which is a written agreement signed by both parties detailing what the agreement is regarding any modification of the support. And you wanna make sure that it gets filed with the court and becomes a court order. Because that's the only way you're changing the existing court orders regarding support. If you don't do this a proper way, you can have a situation where years later, you end up not being able to keep a bank account in your own name, you can't be able to buy property, and so on. You potentially need to change from job to job because otherwise they're gonna to try to garnish your wages, they're going to levy your bank accounts, they're gonna to go to try to collect on the support amount that you're owed. In other words, you end up kind of feeling like a criminal and you wanna definitely avoid that nightmare situation. This is why you always wanna pay the money to hire an attorney that knows what they're doing to represent you and make sure your interests are handled properly so that you don't have a nightmare situation come up in the future that you're gonna regret. I'm Jerry Maggio, Southern California Divorce and Family Law Attorney. If you're going through a divorce or know somebody that is or going to, please contact us for a free consultation so we can go through what your situation is and discuss next steps. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of this video for more helpful information about divorce and other topics. See you next time.